Hey everybody, this is Meyer, and in this video, we're gonna be creating this sub drop sound, which sounds like this. It's really nice right before the drop. Kind of signaling to the listener that something is coming. All right, so for this sound, it's super, super easy to make. We're gonna duplicate this in a patch. And then what I'm gonna do is just simply call this sub drop. Give it a nice green color because this is an effect. And then we're gonna go ahead and sort of, I don't know, give it a sort of dropping look. So really the, the point of this sound is just going to be right over here before the drop. You can use it in other places too. So I'm gonna make the hall kick unique. Just call this sub drop. Move this MIDI over here and command L, map this to the mixer. So the main thing for this sound, we're gonna get the, so the sine wave. Actually, if we turn the fade on, we can get some harmonics, which I think is kind of cool. Now, oops, we want this in mono. We gotta get the right octave. And then we simply get auxiliary one and we're gonna map this to the pitch. We don't wanna use the fine or the sem, or we, we, but we don't wanna use the semi cause that snaps, which is cool that it snaps. It's really cool that it snaps, but that's why we're gonna be using the envelope auxiliary one to oscillator one's pitch XL, or you could use pitch as well. I'm gonna use pitch XL. Here with the phase. I like it there where you get that little click, but it's not too much. like that. So let's go ahead and just take a listen. Yeah, right there. And one of the things I like doing with the sound like this is actually high passing it at a certain point, which causes the sound to kind of drop out a little bit, which kind of is it helps when you're kind of getting into this section. And you could have it here too. Oops, not there, right here. I may put this on its own channel, even though it doesn't really need it.
as this drops, the riser drops too, which is kind of what I'm looking for. That's why I wanted to add this sound. So hopefully you found this helpful.